We want to bring your attention tonight to a troubling trend in the Pikes Peak region. El Paso County has had far more fatal crashes this year than other communities our size. The most recent happened at about this same time last night. Springs police officers said that one person died. Another was sent to the hospital with life threatening injuries in a single vehicle wreck on I-25. The person who lost their life had already died by the time officers arrived at the scene at the southbound exit to the MLK bypass. No names have been released. CSPD's major accident unit is investigated, investigating, I should say. We are committed to driving change here at News 5. And to us, that means calling attention to unsafe road conditions and dangerous trends occurring on our roadways. We believe everyone should get home to their families safely. News 5's Spencer Humphrey joins us live tonight after hearing from state troopers who have a sobering message to Colorado Springs drivers. Well, Andy, at least 65 people have been killed in crashes in El Paso County so far this year. Both CDOT and State Patrol say far too often people are making irresponsible choices behind the wheel. If you take the numbers at face value, you might not think there's an issue. Statewide, we are seeing about the same number of fatal crashes this year versus last year. But you have to look a little deeper. Which is very surprising because traffic volumes have been down significantly this year. And taking a look at just El Paso County, there's no way to spin the numbers. El Paso County is a huge problem this year. How bad? We've seen um, 65 year to date deaths in El Paso County, which is much higher than uh, Arapahoe County or Denver County, which are seeing 30 or 45. People are just not paying attention enough and caring enough about their own safety as well as everybody else's. State Patrol says people are being more brazen. And it seems like we have everybody in a rush. Um, and I see more of it even happening around my patrol car when I'm, I'm driving around. I just stopped the guy uh, just actually yesterday uh, for running a red. And we're not talking about last second. This is two, three seconds. We're already starting to move into that intersection. And before you place the blame on dangerous roads. It's not the roads, it's the drivers. CDOT wants you to think again. Over 90% of crashes on our roadways are related to people's poor choices. That's why it's up to everyone to not only drive safely, but defensively. Maybe I give you that second or so to try and swerve out of the way when somebody's coming right. at you because um, it, it's a scary thing out of the roads nowadays. Now, another thing to note as we enter winter weather season, crashes do tend to go up. And I want to share with you a tip State Patrol shared with me, and that's that if it's a dry day, treat it like it's a rainy day. If it's a rainy day, treat it like it's a snowy day. And if it's a snowy day, treat it like it's an ice day. In other words, take it easy out there. Your life is worth it. Always watching out for you, Southern Colorado. Spencer Humphrey, News 5.